we have a new sheriff in town. It is Enea Bastianini on his GP21 Ducati who takes his second win of the season. Alex Rins is in second place and Jack Miller gets his first podium of the year in third. Where do you start with that one? It was drama at the start with Mark Marquez. It seemed like the start device didn't engage properly. Marquez was starting from 9th place. He dropped all the way back to 24th and fought his way through to finish 6th. You know, you look at it on paper, 24th on the first lap at the first corner to finish 6th place ahead of Fabio Quadraro, Jorge Martin. You know, the names that he had to catch and the pace that he was setting was sensational. It just makes you wonder what Mark could have done if he had have started, you know, without any issues. Could we have seen him and Bastianini fighting for the race win? I think that could have been the case. But what a ride still from Mark Marquez. Still shows that he can fight his way through. But this race is all about the brilliant tyre management from Anea Bastianini. He did the same in Qatar and he has done the same again in Texas. Bastianini's ability to save tyre when it matters. That race was all about managing the rear tyre and he was the one that timed it to perfection. What a race from the Italian. He only took his first MotoGP win at the start of the season. Now he's got his second one. He leads the world championship. But Bastianini adds his name to the list of Marc Marquez and Alex Rins of winners around the circuit of Americas. The race was very much a, a management sort of situation for most of the top 10. It was focused mainly on Marc Marquez coming all the way through from 24th. But the front of the race was controlled mainly by Jack Miller at the start. Uh, the pace was not as fast as we expected because purely down to tyre management. It always gets like this in a race where you know rear end tyre grip is vital and the pace will be slowed down. And most of the Ducatis made good starts. You know, we had Jorge Martin second for quite a while of that race. Peco Bagna was in and around 5th, 6th. He was managing his tyres and his pace looked strong through the midway point. But he didn't progress and it was the Suzuki's of Alex Rins and Juan Mir who made moves and got themselves inside the top four. Bastianini kept his powder dry. He waited behind Martin. He waited behind Miller and took his chance with a few laps to go. And yeah, he controlled it once he got out front and no one could get near him. And the battle further back, a great move by Alex Rins to take second place on the penultimate corner from Jack Miller. Jack Miller will be gutted, he led most of that race, but a podium is what Jack Miller needs to kickstart his season and it'll only get better from here as we go into the European stretch of this calendar. Dwan Mir, another fourth place, his second in a row. Of course, seeing his teammate up ahead in second will annoy Dwan, but he's accumulating points for this championship and he is looking as strong as he did in 2020. Alex Rins, what can you say about him? He is in the best form that I can remember. He's back to the Alex Rins of 2019 and 2020. He's riding very, very strong and an impressive ride for him to get into second. But MotoGP is in safe hands with Anea Bastianini, who is the championship leader we go into Europe now, next to Portimao, with him on that GP21, a proven bike that can win around these tracks. It is such an exciting prospect. Let me know what you thought of that race in the comments below. And make sure to like and subscribe to Christ Moto GP for more content.